Over the course of the election campaign, we followed the efforts of three candidates in three key seats. Three women for whom personal victory or defeat would likely reflect the national fortunes of the parties they were representing. To achieve their electoral aims, the Liberal Democrats needed to win Wells in Somerset. Taking back Walsall North was key to Labour's hopes, and the Conservative strategy rested on winning places like Bishop Auckland for the very first time. Tessa Munt had been the MP for Wells before. Hello, hello. Just came to say hello. My name's Tessa. Yeah. Elected in 2010, she lost her seat in 2015, failed to win it back in 2017, and this time faced the challenge of overturning a Conservative majority of more than 7,000. She's been a well-known face here in Glastonbury, and there was welcome reception from some for her party's pledge to revoke Brexit. Yes, I, yes, I will be voting <laughs> for you. And for goodness sake, yes, I do want Brexit stopped. <laughs> yes. And despite failing to win back the seat two years ago, she was hopeful and determined to keep trying. It's the best job in the world. And I really enjoyed doing it. And I'm very lucky because I suppose I had a lifetime's ambition was to be an MP. Set that for myself when I was 17 because I just thought that sounds like a really interesting job. And I've become an MP. So I've done that. But having done it, I haven't finished. Merry Christmas. Looking good. <laughs> And she was known here too. The only thing I can say is that I, I can do it. You're fantastic. I'm not sure people realise how quite how catastrophic this could be. <laughs> On the edge of her constituency is Burnham on Sea, a predominantly conservative leave voting area popular with retirees from Birmingham and the Midlands. When we needed help, you you came to our rescue, and uh, we needed. Uh, We've had help with the, the stair lift yes. and uh, the wet room yes. and, uh, and uh, support for getting a grant. Yes. So, uh, yes, so this lady, this lady <laughs> gets my vote every time because she supports people who need help. This is not a seat that needs an MP who doesn't care. It really isn't. It's a seat where people deserve to be served properly by their MP. The injustice that people around here suffer makes me furious. <laughs> In the West Midlands, Jill Oglevy was also seeking to win people back. Walsall North had been a Labour heartland for decades, but was lost in 2017. Yeah, do you think you might vote for me? Yeah. Success here would be critical to preventing Boris Johnson from winning a parliamentary majority. But last time around, the Conservatives won by more than two and a half thousand votes. There's a lot of people think that politics isn't for them because they've been disenfranchised. You know, they, they don't see it as an important part of their lives, but it has an impact for generations to come. <laughs> Labour activists here knew how important the fight was for the wider party's prospects. One more, come on! Hey! Hey! This is an area that voted to leave, mm -hmm. but some of your councillors who are out helping you campaign were mm -hmm. telling me that, that really it is the impact of austerity and of cuts that is something that they're seeing and hearing Tell me about that. Tell me about how much of an issue it is here. Yeah, it, it's not just hearing it. You actually visibly see it as you're going out on the streets. You're seeing parents that are struggling with their children. I mean, we've got 46% poverty rate of children within this one constituency. That's nearly one in two children that are going to school hungry, without proper clothing, without heating. Do you think this is quite an angry election underneath it all? Do you think that there is a kind of a thread running through it that is actually driven by a uh, frustration and anger amongst the electorate. Yeah, there is, there is frustration. There is, uh, there's not been so much anger on the doorsteps. Uh, I know some of my colleagues have, have, have faced that, but I've not faced that anger here. I think that's because I fully understand I'm a Leaver. I voted Leave with them. Um, but for me, it's about the, you know, the dilly-dallying of the Tory party for the last three years. 
If winning back old ground was Labour's challenge, winning new ground was the task for the Conservatives, one that Deanna Davidson took up for the Tories in Bishop Auckland. Hello, I'm sorry to bother you. My name's Deanna. I'm actually standing to be your next MP. So I'm here today to ask if you've given any thought to who you might be voting for. The seat had always been deep Labour red, but a combination of the support for Brexit and the perceived dislike of Jeremy Corbyn gave the Conservatives hope. It's cold, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, I'm here fighting for every single vote, so I would be out, rain or shine, whatever the weather, talking to people, because um, politics is about people, it's about trying to make people's lives better. Her campaigning took her through former mining villages steeped in Labour tradition. Yeah, um, but Conservative now. You voted Tory before? Never. Never. Decades ago, no one would ever have thought that this seat would turn Conservative, and yet here we are with it as a top target. We're getting visits from government ministers, left, right and centre, getting activists, really wanting to come and help, really wanting to come and get engaged in this campaign from all over the country. There's one thing I can say for, for Boris Johnson is that he is a really optimistic, positive politician. He has a real vision for where he thinks our country should go. And that's the kind of politics I want to promote and sell. I'm not into nasty backbiting. I'm not into everything being an attack on the opposition. It has to be about what you can do, what you're going to deliver. Deanna's victory in Bishop Auckland reflected the change in the political climate that her party's electoral strategy was predicated on. In Morsel North and Wales, the opposite was true. Despite their hopes and efforts, neither Jill Ogilvy nor yeah. Tessa Munt were ultimately able to swim against the national tide as it swept out against Labour and the Liberal Democrats, respectively. And so for Deanna, there is now a place on the Commons Green benches. Do you know, it's going to sound really glib, but, but what I would love to be able to say that I've done um, in, in, you know, in Parliament or in, in my career as a politician, if I can inspire one young lass living on a council estate, to, to kind of hold her head high and say, look, someone's done that, maybe I can do it too, then I will, I will leave a very happy woman. But in five years' time, the voters of Bishop Auckland, Wales and Walsall North will head to the ballot box again. And as the last four general elections have shown, an awful lot can change in this place and out in the country between now and then. Tom Rayner, Sky News, Westminster.